it's just a small center. We only have five beds, which is, you know, it's a lot more intimate, but we get a lot better level of care and the, the brotherhood bonds that are built um, are a lot stronger. So it just becomes, you know, these long lasting relationships that get built and the opposite of addiction is connection. Of know? course. And it, it, it just became, you know, some of the guys I kind of knew or knew through friends, through friends. And, um, you know, we base our four pillars on fitness, nutrition, spirituality, and recovery. So we are 12 step based, but we're in the gym, uh, you know, the conventional gym five days a week, we go to boxing the other two days a week. Um, you know, we have lots of members of the indigenous community come in and teach us about plant-based healing, plant-based medicine, ceremonies. Um, we do. You're talking lodges. about the first nations. First nations. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, so we do spirit baths. So we really incorporate a lot of, you know, the indigenous culture into our program. Well, and, God bless you for you being know, so inclusive. Well, it just, it, it you have to because the the teachings and and the knowledge that they have over the years it just you know it there's so much experience there and you know it, there's so much to learn and and you know for for the indigenous to open up their community and and really show us so many unique special ways of healing um we're just so blessed and you know there's so much stuff just on the land itself that you know you'd be so surprised of these things that that really help with addiction and yeah yeah you know, i can well we, imagine we, we also have you know one-on-one -on -one counseling uh recovery coaching we have reiki that a lady comes in and does reiki on these guys and, and really helps get them back. i'm familiar with reiki yeah i you get these asmr youtube videos and that's how i how i got familiar with reiki it's an interesting science i must say it's mm -hmm. not some hippy dippy crap. It, I really think of it as a science. Yeah. Yeah. It's all, all about energy and, and, you know, oh, a yes. lot of the stuff. Oh, when yes. First starting out, we just, we just really tried experimentally to see what worked and, and how that would go. And, you know, some of the, the changes and, and, you know, the inner workings of, of some of these programs, it just, it's phenomenal. So we've just really kind of built on that. And, um, you know, now we're hoping next year to be opening up a woman's house and um, nice. a woman's house that will actually allow them to recover with their small children. So instead of having their small children go back into the system or have the grandparents or have someone take them, the kids will actually live with the, the, the mothers while they recover and do 12-step absence-based programming. Well, how would that module work? You've got me curious because... It's it's an interesting it's an interesting thought, and I'm not doubting it, but you know there are various degrees of people's addictions. So of course it would be supervised if it is you know way 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 high, where they have a dependency, so that it might pose a danger. But if you would obviously oversee that with your uh, 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 partners and so on and so forth, to decide yeah. okay you know what it would be rather better if the child stayed with the mother. For maybe three hours, and then they'll be in a in a in a separate end, uh, in a separate room for three hours. I hope I'm coming across clearly, but if it's not so bad, they can at least stay with the mother, and you know, be supervised for all sure. the time. Yeah, and I mean, it's you know, with us, everything's kind of a case by case um, scenario. Case by and, case. And thank we, you, we, thank we, you. We, That's what I was referring yeah. to. Yeah. So we really look at it that way. Um, you know, the thing which a lot of people don't understand, you know, the, the government only pays $45 a day for treatment per person. And you're supposed to house, close, feed, educate, entertain um, somebody for, for $45 a day. Uh, it can't know, happen. My, it can't happen. It, it just can't happen. Not and, with this you know, inflation. My, my place is private pay, but I'm about uh, $15,000 a month or $10,000 a month less than some of these other private facilities. Uh, my whole model is impact over income. So I'm not here to make money. I'm here to make a difference. And, mm. um, you know, our, our level of people that are, you know, addicts are, you know, we're not, we don't take people that are right off the street that are homeless, that are, are totally devastated their lives in addiction. You know, I'm not as experienced enough in that field. I'm not a doctor. Um, so right now we're just taking people that are, you know, still, 
uh, able to, you know, ha have a bit of a life, hold the life down. And we just, you know, really help them rebuild where they're at and, and give them those tools and ongoing care.